So here is the basic setup that Alvin Lucier had for his piece, I Am Sitting in a Room. We have him sitting in a chair right here. Here's a microphone. Um, we have tape recorder one right here. Tape recorder two right over here. And so for his first generation um, recording, he sat in the chair, talked in the microphone, and was recorded on tape machine number one. We'll label this tape one. And we'll label this one over here tape two. So that's how he recorded. He recorded onto tape one. Then what happens is we have, he takes the recording from tape one, puts it on to tape two, and then he replaces the chair with a speaker. So then what happens is he, the original tape is now on tape machine number two, he is going to play that connected to the speaker. So now he's playing the original onto the speaker, then recording it on this second tape right over here. So we have the signal flow going this way from the speaker into the second version of the tape. Then what happens is he takes the second version, puts that on, so the first version comes off, second version goes on to tape number two, he plays that out the speaker and records that onto number three, and so on and so forth. So how do we recreate that in logic? So since Lucier played everything into the same room, we have to use the same reverb each time. So we have our original, our source material. We have to send that to a reverb. And then record it onto a new track. We'll call that new track and we'll label it 2. Then we take new track 2, send it to the reverb, and then record it onto track 3. Pardon my writing. Then do then for each different iteration we do the same thing. Track three would get sent to the reverb, recorded onto track four. So that's what we have to do. So let's see how we do that in Logic. Okay, so here's my Logic file. It's about fifteen seconds worth of audio. So if we use our diagram, I have to send this to a reverb. And in any DAW, we can send audio files to an effect like reverb through the send. So I'm going to click over here on the send. And where it says no send, I'm going to use a bus. So it's an internal connection. And choose bus 1. And that comes up over here. Actually, I'm going to open up the mixer so it would be easier to see the layout. So if I go up here to the top and I click on mixer, here's my mixer in a window. I'll make it a little bit smaller because we're going to have some tracks. Let's see if we can get this to fit a little bit better. Here we go. So you can see here's my audio track. Let's rename that as original. Got to spell it right. Okay. Aux1 we're going to rename 
to reverb. So here is my original audio. Here is my reverb. So I'm um, sending you this the bus 1. My input of the reverb is bus 1. And here's the amount that's being sent. I want to send everything to it. So I'm going to hold down the Option key, click on here, and that goes, you saw that went to zero, which is in the world of digital audio, zero is the maximum. So the maximum amount of signal is being sent to the reverb. So now I don't have a reverb set there. I'm just setting, I've just created the channel. So now I go into the audio FX and let's add a reverb. I think we picked the chroma verb, so we'll do that one. And here it is. And I'm just going to pick a room. We'll call it big room. It reconfigures this. I might change some of the settings. I can click on this room here and it'll change the type of room as well. And I can move these around as well. This is the attack, the decay, the density. Um, it's 100% wet. That's what I want. That means 100% of the signal is being sent into the reverb. So let's listen to what it sounds like with this reverb on it. We choose to go to the moon in this detail and do the other thing. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. So it sounds like a decent reverb. So now what I need to do is, okay, so I have my track. It's being sent to the reverb. Now I need to record the output of the reverb. So just like Lucier did, it was where he recorded the speaker in the room. That's, in essence, what we have to do now. So I'm going to close this for now. So now I want to create a new track. And I can just click the plus here. Um, but I want to basically create the same track, the same type of track, so the stereo audio track. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on where it says new track with duplicate settings. Or, if you notice, the keyboard equivalent is command D. So either one will work. So now I create another one and we're going to rename this one to generation Two. So actually, just so it fits in the mix a little bit better, let's call it just Gen 2. So here's Gen 2. So now you notice that it's configured the same here, which we don't want to do. So now we have to take our output of the reverb and send it to uh, another bus. We're going to say bus 2. Now we're going to take Gen 2, and its input is going to be bus 2. So the flow goes from original to reverb to bus 2 into generation 2. So we don't want to send its output yet to anything. So I'm going to turn that off. We're just going to record that. You can you don't need a an input for channel one if you don't want to. We're going to make this one no output. So again, we're going from here to the reverb to aux 2 into gen 2. So if everything works right, I should be able to record and get my gen 2 with the original plus the reverb. So I'm going to arm this track and then hit record. We choose to go to the moon in this detail and do the other thing. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. So here's my generation two. You can see that the sound file looks a little bit different because now it has reverb. 
I also noticed when it was recording that all of a sudden I'm going into the red here. So we're going to undo, which is one of the beauties of digital audio, and lower our volumes down a little bit. And I'm going to take my reverb, maybe bring it down some as well. Let's see what that looks like. Whoops, I took the wrong one. I had the Gen 2 channel. We need the original Bring It Down. That looks a little bit better, so we're going to try this again. Go back to the beginning. And I forgot to turn off my count in. Let's turn that off so it just starts recording right away. So there's my recording with the reverb. So just so we know that we have um, two different ones, I'm going to solo this one. Don't know if it'll work because I don't have it going out anywhere. Alright. Let's turn this off. Oops. Output. There we go. Used to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things. So there it is, without any reverb. And. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. They and there's the one with a little bit of reverb. So now, for the third generation. Again, we're going to create um, a new track. So I'm just going to duplicate this one for now. Again, it's a little bit easier to read in the mixer. Let's change this one to Gen 3 so I don't get confused. So now my Gen 2 is going to do what Gen 1 did. We're going to mute Gen 1. And we're now going to send Gen 2 to bus one, which is our reverb. Then we're going to take the output of that goes to bus two. So now gen three, the input is going to be bus two. We're going to change this one to no input. We can change this so that way we're not getting too confused. So again, now we're going to go out gen two into our reverb, out bus 2, into gen 3. And hopefully our levels are alright. We'll find out. So yeah, we have that off here. This is on there. I think we're good to go. We'll find out in a second. We've muted that one. Now we have to arm this one. There we go. So let's see what it all sounds like together. And I might truncate this a little bit. Alright, so now we're going to move this, whoops. 
try this again. We're going to move this one over to the end. Zoom out a little bit. And we'll take this one and move it to the end over here. Now let's see, everything should be going to stereo out. We're not going to send anything to the reverb now. Let's unmute this. Not sure what's going on with the panning there, but let's see what it sounds like. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. So there we go. So I would keep going. Probably have to go through maybe nine or ten of these before we really get some resonance going um, but it's the same process so that's what you'll be trying <laughs>